Today, we are making bacon cheeseburger stuffed mushrooms. And also, because we're going to have some leftover stuffing mix for the mushrooms, I'll show you how to make a bacon cheeseburger casserole. Oh, speaking of leftovers, my cousin Erica FaceTimed me the other day, and one of the girls she worked with asked me what I did with all the leftover food. I don't eat it all myself in one sitting. That would be excessive. Now I feel attacked. Let's get started. We're going to brown one pound of ground beef and add some Worcestershire sauce, some black pepper, and some garlic powder. All right, so now we're gonna soften one onion and some butter for about 10 minutes. We don't wanna overcook it. There's already enough stuff that's, you know, overdone. So now our onions are ready. We're gonna transfer them to a separate bowl and let's set aside to cool. Okay, back to the beef. I'm emotionally drained and excessively fat. I mean, I've drained the excess fat out of the beef. Add a squirt of tomato paste. I'll let that come together. And at this point, I would add in my cooked bacon, but I'm now realizing that I'm out of bacon. Um, but I'm a Southern, so I'm not out of bacon grease. So bacon grease. One plop of cream cheese. Stir in your onions, turn the heat off and add in chopped green onions. Sprinkle in just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You can use as little or as much as you like. This is a personal choice, whatever you want to do. Do not let your cousin's coworker in Alabama dictate your Parmesan cheese intake. Add in two beaten eggs and a pinch of sea salt. Moving on, you're gonna take two large portobello mushroom tops. You're gonna carefully remove the cap and you know, just, just be gentle with it. Do you know what I mean? Don't be too tough. Don't be too, don't be too hard on it, you know? Just try to get your teeth brushed before 11 a.m., get some clean sweatpants on and just, you know, do the best you can. Now you're going to take your spoon and you're going to scrape out the insides of the mushroom and you're going to make like a like a hole like a like a empty space like a like a cavity like a deep dark cavity that you know strolls with friends or brunch or happy hours could go into and it doesn't have to be perfect no one's expecting much take advantage of that. Okay now our mushrooms are ready to go in our oven and I've made these little tin foil stilt proper yuppie thingies um, because I don't want the mushrooms to cook in their own water and get soggy. Bake for 20 minutes at 350. Now spoon your bacon cheeseburger mixture uh, into your mushrooms and really fill these up. Like like don't be scared to just really just keep putting that in there. You, you might not think it can deal with that much but you'd be surprised to realize how much it can actually handle and even some come out better because of it. And of course not all. Each mushroom is different. Some will just come out burnt and bitter. Now we're going to top with cheese. And we're going to bake these in the oven on the top rack at 450 for about 10 minutes. And once they're done, you're going to remove your tinfoil proppy uppy thingy. And we have beautiful, delicious bacon cheeseburger stuffed portobello mushroom caps. It's a long title. Now for our leftover beef mixture. If you have extra mushrooms, this recipe could actually stuff six to eight, depending on the size, but we're gonna make a casserole. Okay, this is so super simple. You're gonna take your leftover cheeseburger mixture, you're gonna put it into a casserole dish, add some cheese, some parsley, and bake until the cheese is gold and bubbly, and what else do you need? Although I guess, I, I guess we could use a vaccine. 